What's up, boys? Today we're working on a seat cover. I'm gonna pull this seat cover off here. You just get under the staples with flathead, pop them up, and you just get a pair of pliers and you can pull them out the rest of the way. Makes pretty quick work with that, but there's a lot of staples to go around the whole way around the seat cover. And I already have a seat cover from a or four A. I think it's a Suzuki two thirty. Um, it's pretty much the same cutouts. Uh, just has some extra material on the sides because there's two thirties really loop out around the back side of it a lot. But it, I mean, it lines up good and it's gonna fit good. It'll fit real well. We'll get her cut up there to match. Get it stapled down, and it'll be good as new because this seat cover has seen its days of use plus. So we're going to get rid of him. All right, let's get at it. Now how I start out doing them is I'll just put a staple or two in the front or back just to get it started. I got a few in the front. Then I'll take and I'll wrap the fabric around the sides, put a couple in, then I'll flip it over and make sure it looks all lined on top. And then I'll take the heat gun, put it on high, wave the heat gun over which area I'm going to work on first. Say it was this back corner. Wave the heat gun over that back corner. And I'll take and I'll pull it nice and tight and wrap it right around the corner. Throw a couple more staples in. And then do that at each each of the corners making sure that you keep it centered like you're stitching you want it to be put on all sideways you want to do a good job with it but yeah that's what i mean this, this seat cover it's for a, a completely different model but i mean as far as the cutouts and the lines it's all basically the same as you get it lined up right you see on the bottom we're going to have a lot left over to trim which is fine it's just going to get Cut right around, maybe about a half inch or so after the staples. That would get trimmed right up. But yeah, I use this little pneumatic air gun and those staples. There were other staples I tried to use, uh, made by Arrow. Uh, I just can't, they don't go into plastic good. These staples here, uh, made by Stanley. They have no issue going into plastic. I have my air pressure adjusted to 90, yeah, about 90, 95, and that's perfect. Any higher, it's going to send the staple through the cover and not hold the cover. If I get it up over 100, it's just too much. And then you just go around and hit it with your staple gun, crack, 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 while you're all pulling it tight. See if I can get you one real quick. Well, it's pulled tight, you just tap it, and there you go. You got one in. But yeah, I'll just finish up going the whole way around it, doing that now that I got it nice and stretched tight. And we'll get it trimmed up and we'll see what the final product is. Well, we got her on the whole way around. Got it nice and stapled. The whole way. What do you think? Should we turn it over and see what it looks like? Guys, think I did a good job? Yeah, you know I did. It was beautiful. What else would you expect? All right, let's bolt it back on the plastic set laying over there. Put it back on the machine and have a view. Bam! There it is. Beautiful, huh? Yeah, it turned out pretty good. I've done a few seat covers in my days. Loaded the seat covers, but never put the wrong seat cover on. This is just one I had laying around. It was a freebie. It was sent to me on accident. That was all leftovers there. Sent to me on accident on, oh, it was a, it was a custom seat for a 230 I did a few years ago. Well, they sent me, it was the wrong, the wrong cover they sent me. So they made it right, sent me the correct cover for that machine they told me to keep this one they don't want it back 
So I kept it and it's been under in my parts lot for, I don't know, maybe four years or so. So I figured we'll finally put it to use. Turned out very nice. So what we got left to do on this? We still got that broken tail light. Um, I think I'm going to put tubes in the back tires. Front tires hold air. Back tires, they leak down by the next day. Who's this guy? Come out to see that new seat cover. Huh? Did you come out to see the new seat cover? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I think I'm just going to tube them. Because the tread's real good. They do have some, a little bit of dry cracks here and there. Nothing horrible. So, we're going to tube them up. Is that the YouTubers? It's the YouTubers. <laughs> and we got anything left to do up front? I can't remember. I don't think we do. I think we just have that tail light and tubes. There's some kind of cover that's supposed to go back here. I don't really know. I haven't looked into that yet. Probably some little rubber strap to hold it down there. YouTubers! I don't really know what's supposed to be there. YouTubers, everything was old now. Everything is new now. You say everything's old and everything's new now. Yep, almost. Yep, everything's old and everything's new. It was a work in progress, huh? You helped me with it? Yep. Yep. You like helping me with this stuff, don't you? Yeah. You like riding them when they're done, though, huh? Yes. That's your favorite part. Mm -hmm. Getting them all finished up and riding them. Yep. All right, guys. I'm going to end this one here with just the seat cover. Tilt in football. <laughs> and I'm going to go mess around with this goofball. All right, guys. If you like what I do, subscribe to me. Give me a thumbs up. Peace.